Welcome to Snow Talks on Shore. I'm Albie Sol with a roundup of the avalanche forecasts for the Rocky Mountains and Interior Ranges. So we're still looking at the snowpack adjusting to huge amounts of rain and snow over the last week and a very complex avalanche situation with surface instabilities, persistent instabilities, that making avalanches with fracture lines up to two meters deep. So considerable in the Alpine right through the forecast region. Looks like maybe a little bit better heading in the southern part of the ranges where we've seen rain right into the Alpine causing some huge cycles, but maybe moving things along a little bit faster. However, although things look better on paper, still the time for a great deal of caution. We're still seeing remotely triggered avalanches. You can trigger something from below or from the side and maybe in not such steep terrain either. So still a time, unfortunately, just to be very, very cautious, make sure you know what you're doing before you head out there. We saw a tragic accident last weekend with some people who didn't have this training and didn't have the equipment. And we're gonna to talk to Lisa Paulson in, from Banff National Park about this type of situation. Lisa, how often are we seeing people still heading out into the backcountry, into Avalanche Train and not realizing they're, they're going to be in that danger and not having the equipment? I wouldn't say it's a regular thing, but uh, maybe outside the ski area boundaries, we see it a little more frequently where people would just duck under the rope and into some serious terrain that's just adjacent the ski areas. The user groups that are just completely unaware completely unaware that their trail is even going into avalanche train. They don't recognize avalanche train. So how we try to target those people is really encourage people to first off, if they're coming to the parks, go by the Parks Canada website, research, do, start their homework at home, research some of the types of activities they're interested in, and maybe go even go so far as the trails that they're interested in, and check their avalanche terrain rating. And if they are going into avalanche train, then they need to make sure they have the training, the experience, and some of the equipment to uh, go into that train safely and pick, pick uh, train to minimize their hazard and then have the equipment in case something does go wrong. A great tool is to go to the information center where they can help tailor, personally tailor their trip objectives to fit their training experience and the avalanche conditions. Thanks for that, Lisa. So, another tricky weekend coming up, and we're going to have to have the self-discipline just to hold back again. Definitely a time to be out there only if you've got the training and the equipment to go. Thanks for watching Snow Talks on Shore, and remember, check the bulletin before you go.